Hey, it's Kevin again at the Rusty Dusty Shop. Um, this is where we make uh, oddball things out of garage sale finds, finds that, things that we rescue and repurpose. Um, today we're going to make hopefully a wall rack for a game room. I'm going to use some of these uh, billiard balls that I picked up at a sale, a whole crate full for ten dollars, about nine sets of them. So, and this length of two by six which is scrap wood from a project project it's about 22 inches long um, and and an old stain once again a, a crate buy at a uh, at a yard sale for about two bucks for all different types of stains so this is a gray a pale gray stain from way back so if it's still good when we open it we'll, we'll stain this wood gray all right so our stain is working out just fine um, still good looks pretty good I'll probably do a couple of coats of this and then after it dries I will come back and I will do some sanding on the edges um, kind of smooth out the edges make it uh, a little friendlier on the hands and the eyes um, and then we'll get to work on on, on how we're going to hang these balls on here as a coat rack for a game room or or whatever a den so we'll be back all right, let's get this exciting video uh, moving along <laughs> quickly. Um, yeah, so it's been stained. I did round off the edges with a palm sander here. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, but it's going to make a nice backdrop for the sign. Like I said, the game room sign. I've been searching for the right hardware to use. And what I finally came across are, is um, this piece here. Believe it or not, this, this piece is used for hanging uh, wooden handrails. Um, and this is the way it would usually be oriented, going if you can picture them going up a stairway. Um, what I'm going to do is use it in the reverse, and I'm going to use it this way, where I will mount it, and then I will epoxy the billiard balls or pool balls um, to the top, and then you'll have, a, in this case, a series of three of them where people can hang, you know, it could be a coat rack or a hat rack or, or what have you. And like I said, we'll put game room in here. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to use a general quick setting epoxy. This is from Dollar Tree. Um, so the cost of this sign essentially is going to be about 12 bucks overall, which is a little high for what I like to do. But I think I could probably get, you know, $49 out of it. And... Plus the experience of, of, of working with these materials um, and getting better and better. So let's see how it goes. So here's a peek at what it's going to look like essentially. There's going to be another one in the middle. But that's how the billiard balls are going to be hanging. I did not do the one in the middle yet because I want to get the lettering done first. But I did want to give you a preview of how these are attached. And we'll be back. All right, so just a quick update. Um, I'm just going to use one word in this sign. I'm just going to use the word games. But the, the reason I'm showing you this in the paint is that sometimes I get questions about people ask, you know, I try to make I try to make stuff and I make a mess with the paint. And so I just figured I'd show you just kind of how I try not to do that. And so I've got my mass of paint here. It's just a good a good dollop. And, and I'll just drag it out so I can work with it. That way you can judge how much is on the brush. You just don't want to be digging in and going to the stencil. You want to kind of tap it out and get just the just the amount you want. And the only way to do that is kind of just drag it out like I did. And you can kind of see how much is on the brush until you get to the point where you don't feel like you're going, you're going to make a mess. So, And then you just position your, your stencil as such and you test it. And that's just about exactly how much I want on the brush. You can always put more on. You just can't really, you know, once once that paint scoots under the stencil, there's not much you can do other than get a, a wet rag, if it's ac acrylic like this, and clean it up. But that's how that's done. Just figured I'd show that. All right, so here's how the lettering came out. Another adjustment I'm going to make is I'm not I'm just going to leave the the two I'll just mount two of the the pool balls the billiard balls here 
Um, I don't think the sign's big enough to warrant another and um, maybe some other fun stuff. So what I'll do is, what I'm going to have to do is use the epoxy and then because these are round and this is unstable, I'm going to have to stabilize the sign itself and then I'll, I'll take tape, I'll mount it and then I'll take tape and wrap it around the ball to hold it on there and um, 24 hours later I should have a, a well adhered ball but let's see what happens. Alrighty then, so we, we should be good to call this done. Uh, we did add some accents in gold here as you see. Um, since it, you know, it's sort of a, it's a font that I don't use very often, which is sort of a mi medieval type of a, a font. Um, just gave it a couple of little accents, but you know, other than that, it's a very simple sign. Some, it took about 30 minutes to do scrap wood, uh, total cost was about $12, which is a bit more than you'd usually see us. Uh, spend but you know, we'll see what we net out of it. Um, it's just a fun piece and hopefully somebody will enjoy it and Hang their hat on it when they're playing games Anyway, thanks for coming subscribe if you haven't already like you know like the video and uh, we're gonna churn out as many as many of these as we possibly can uh, Going forward. Um, I've said that before, but we'll see what happens And of course come see the rusty dusty shop at remember yesteryears Oakdale, New York, right here on Long Island, Montauk Highway, central to everywhere. Google it, Google it online, and I'm going to give you the information coming up right at the end of this video, which is now.